So it's already like 4.30. I'm finally just getting out here because JR finally fell asleep after, oh, I don't know, what, four and a half hours of being awake. Um, I'm trying to get out here just so I can get some daylight time in outside to work on the trailer. So I wanted to cut that old mount off of the right side. So I went to my angle grinder to put a uh, cutoff wheel on there. And I ended up breaking the arbor lock on the grinder itself so I can't get this wire wheel off this grinder anymore. So I'm off to a great start today. Um, I think that one just became my permanent wire wheel grinder. <laughs> Man, it feels good when gas is only $2 a gallon. I, I like that. <laughs> I remember in 2008 in June when it was like four, it went over four dollars a gallon here, and I was working part time, maybe 10 or 15 hours a week, making seven dollars an hour, and a tank of gas was half a paycheck or a week's pay, which is just crazy. <laughs> anyway, Jr. and I are at the, the depot. I'm gonna look for a another angle grinder. I can't believe it's red dark. It's only 5:30. So I went with this Milwaukee uh, grinder. I was gonna get another one of these. Uh, this is $30, this is $60. Um, I was gonna get another one of these, but the problem, it works fine. The problem I have with it is the guard, which I would say I don't have it on here, and I, you haven't seen me use it with the guard because I have no idea where that guard is because it was annoying to change because you had to have a screwdriver to loosen the guard and adjust it to wherever you want. This one's tool free. You just push this little, thing down and it's got a little detent so you can change it on the fly to whatever angle you want. So in that case, I'm, I'm more likely to use this with a guard, which it should be anyway because it's you know safer and whatnot. Um, so I like that because then I'll probably get less safety comments about my grinder use. It's kind of interesting when you're making videos like that. Some of your decisions are made solely based on the comments you receive or your desire to not have certain comments so that's i paid twice as much for a grinder because i don't want to deal with people telling me to use a grinder with a guard <laughs> is what i'm trying to say now the one thing that i don't like about this that i liked whoops that i like a lot about this one which is actually fell out of broke already but the tool for changing the um the discs just goes right in here this one doesn't have any onboard storage for the spanner so, I don't know, I'll probably end up losing this, which will frustrate me even more, but maybe what I'll do is zip tie this to the cord. That might help. <laughs> oh boy. And JR's out here too. I've been doing cutting boards again. I gotta get rid of all these things. I need to get these cutting boards made and out of here because I have more I gotta start making. Cause that pile's getting bigger. And I have more scraps out in the shed to get rid of. Look at this guy. <sighs> Hi, buddy. Look how happy you are. Hey, dude. Let me do this. It's just a little more space. There you go. Do, 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 do. Hello, buddy. Oh, hi. Thing you go. There you go. You're in. You're in there. <laughs> so 
So I'm going around and replacing all the outlets in this room uh, for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that these outlets kind of, I think they're worn out. They don't hold plugs very well anymore, so it's easy to yank stuff out of the wall. Uh, the other thing is that whoever installed these did some kind of weird stuff. So, yeah, there's like that, which is a little bit odd. Never seen that before. And um, the new outlets I'm using are the tamper resistant ones. Since this is going to be like the family room, and we got JR now, um, you know, just a little bit extra reassurance. But like, I've never seen this before, and I'm not even sure if that's like a legitimate way to hook up an outlet. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do it the way that I know how to do it. Also, I'm going to add a grounding pigtail in here. Awesome. Hi, so much chicken! The best day ever, Pinky! Your mother came home with chicken! Uh. Yeah. Hi! Oh my god, man, look at this happiness! Ah, it's so happy. <laughs> Baby, get over here. Are you scared about chicken one of the body? Hi. Uh, one thing I like to do is I have all the breakers uh, numbered down there, so I write the breaker number on the back of the plate. So whenever I have to or someone in the future needs to do some work on this outlet, they can just pop the, uh, the switch plate off and they'll know exactly which breaker to go turn off. Because I'm clever. Because I'm clever like that. I think of these things ahead of time. I think of these things ahead of time because I love thinking ahead of time. There we go. Baby. You all it. So I actually started painting here earlier today, but I got this paint up on the wall and I was like, this has to be the wrong color. It doesn't match at all. But apparently this paint dries like crazy color change style. <laughs> it does not look like it matches at all when it goes up. But the color changes so much when it dries. It looks like a purple gray right now. It dries some of blue. It's so weird. It's heavy. So in the shop tonight, I've been surfacing cutting boards through the drum sander while working on the chainsaw. Trying to figure out why the, um, the chain brake wasn't working. And once I got it open, it's pretty obvious. So the actual chain brake ring is actually snapped off and broken. So when you move the actual brake lever, you can see that it used to be connected right there no longer connected, so I need to get a new brake band and install that. Pull this thing out of here. So there's the uh, the head of the band, which goes on to the mechanism over here. There you go. So there's the brake band. So this is actually really simple. This is the clutch drum. It sits inside of there, and then when you pull on the actual brake mechanism like that, all it does is pull on this thing and squeeze the, uh, the drum, and then the clutch can't spin it. Pretty simple thing. So I need to order a new one of these, so you know, five bucks or whatever. And I can actually clean up in here now. Maybe tomorrow I'll turn the compressor on. Chainsaws are so dirty. Such dirty, dirty pieces of equipment. <laughs> 